may goodbye, hello ah. again. So, yung hindi na talaga siya tumatawag sa'yo. Pero sabi yung hindi, yung talagang closure talaga, yung talagang closure talaga was two months ago. And you said it lasted siguro mga one year in that in that ballpark no did you sorry i don't know i don't remember alam mo basta can you like count na lang mo so yeah count <laughs> it's about a year <laughs> but if you were to live your life all over again would you still fall for jl why not i mean he's a very nice guy and uh, we shared good memories ayan na naman sa election na naman ako ni mo but that's ginanong ko na nga eh i mean you know i mean people who are part of my life in the past um, are always special mm -hmm. so if i were to live my life again um, i would still be and Close there was a point naman in your special friendship ni uh, John Lloyd na nag I love you na kayo sa, sa isa't isa. No! Ano, ano, ano? ano? Nakaka-stress ka! I'm, I just want to, I'm romantic. I just want to know. Mo, ano ka ba? Ano ba sa nga na travel nila naman sa hotel sa LA? I'm not answering that question. Ha? Right, let's go to the next. So, sarap na magtatanong sa atin. Si Fran, si Simeon. He has another question. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. May part pa si Ilmas. Yung, was Ilmas also a reason kung bakit, kasi naghiwala, natapos yun kasi, baka you're afraid of what Ilmas is capable of doing pag ni-rest ba ka niyong guy na naliling sa'yo? Um, no, he was not the main reason. Um, but, to answer your question, nakakatakot pa rin na Siyempre, si, si Ilmas, and uh, I also want to protect people in my life, um, especially mga kaibigan ko. Na, at ang mga anak mo. At ang mga anak ko. So, kailangan protektahan ko din sila bilang kaibigan. And uh, siyempre, kasama na rin si JL doon. Okay. Okay, ngayon naman, magtatanong Francis Simeon. Thanks, na. Maraming Hi, salamat po na to. Hello. Yeah. Nagkausap na ba kayo ni Ilmas nung birthday mo? At ano yung regalo niya sa'yo? And second, since pareho kayo ng birthday ni JL, uh, meron na ba kayong gift for each other? Okay. Kailangan pa ba? Exchange. Okay. Okay. Meron man, ano kaya? Thank you. Um, okay, to answer your first question about Ilmas, um, no, hindi niya ako binati nung birthday ko. Wala siyang pinadala at wala, wala kaming communication ngayon. The last time that we spoke, hindi maganda yung resulta. Mm -hmm. At uh, the last time he texted, hindi rin maganda yung resulta. So, mas mabuti na sigurong wag muna kami mag-usap until lumamig yung ulo niya. Um, pangalawa, si JL naman, of course, wala kaming gifts sa isa't isa. As a matter of fact, we didn't even talk to each other on our birthdays. Uh, because nga, like I said, it's finally out in the open. He's, he's dating someone else, and I would like to respect that. And ayoko rin uh, ng ganung klaseng sitwasyon. Okay. okay. Napakaganda. Maraming salamat. At ngayon naman, mga kapatid, kasama natin sa unang pagkakataon ang boses sa likod ng Star Talk, Ronnie Carras. Wow! Oh! Salamat, Ronnie. Rufa, happy birthday. Rufa, 17 years ago, you won second princess in the Miss World. Ito beauty contest question din. Pero oh. ilalayo ko yung dalawang anak mo, si Lauren at si Venice. If you were to live your life all over again, would you still choose to marry your ex and why? Um, if I were to choose, um, if I were going to marry my ex again, I would still probably end up marrying him because I have Lorene in Venice. Mm. And uh, for me, I mean, that's one regret, siguro, meeting him. But nandiyan na yan eh. So wala na akong magagawa. But, you know, being Lorene in Venice, it's not going to change the fact that Ilmaz is the father. So if I were to relive my life again, hindi naman pwedeng Lorene in Venice is there, pero wala naman siyang wala silang tatay. pinanggalingan, wala siyang tatay. Mm -hmm. So I would still have to marry Ilmaz again because I've learned so much from him. I mean, he's not an evil guy. I've had really good times with him. He's funny and uh, matalinong, matalinong tao si, si Ilmas. So, marami rin ako natutunan sa kanya. And uh, akala ko nga siya yung greatest love ko, pero unfortunately, hindi pala. Okay. Sa sobrang pagmamahal yan, anak. Ganun lang kasimple yon. Ronnie, thank you. At si ate Veronica Samio, I'm sure. <laughs> Happy birthday, Rupa. Hi. Um, Di ba nagkaroon, nagpunta ka sa Hong Kong? You had the fun and excitement in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Alam ko yung fun was provided by your children. But what about the excitement? May iba ka bang kasama na nagbigay sa'yo ng excitement na hindi namin alam? Well, um, I'm just excited over life now. It was, to answer your question, 
Tita, I was in Hong Kong with the kids, my staff, and 25 of my friends who flew in from Manila, who flew, flew in from all parts of the world. Para lang magbakasyon, dapat lima lang kami, uh, kasama yung mga anak ko, dumami ng dumami at naging malaking celebration na. So, um, kung na-excite ako, may mga puwa-puwarma naman din. <laughs> Mas bata, mga bata. Mga 28. Uh, Pumila yeah, sila. 20. Oh. You know, I mean, it was, it was a, a clean holiday. We went shopping. Of course, we went out. And kung may mga nagbigay ng excitement, of course, meron. Okay. May Thank you. Pa, Sige, ate pero. Is there one person na pwede magpayak sa'yo sa birthday mo? If there's one person ngayon na pwede, pwede magpayak sa birthday mo. Manalaman natin kung talaga nandiyan na yung taong yan at maiiyak ako. Ako, ako kasi I'm very emotional. So... Little things affect me. Laging ganun, ano? Pag mm. nag-birthday ka. Especially pag birthday, di ba? Mm. Pag birthday, it's very, ano. Yeah. Totoo yan. Oh, At para okay. makompleto ang celebration, mayroong special letter dito para sa isang, galing sa isang taon na malapit sa puso mo. Pero, he couldn't be here sa pinadala na itong sulat na to. To Rufi, you are beautiful, a beautiful person inside and out. And you are smart, engaging, and always generous with that smile. Today, I wish you love, happiness, peace, Excellent health and wealth. May God grant you all your birthday wishes. Love, Tito Boy. Oh, I miss Tito Boy. Alam mo, after that interview with JL, I actually texted Tito Boy at uh, nagpasalamat din ako sa kanya kung paano niya nai-handle yung interview. And uh, hindi ako nabastos. You know, I felt uh, very relieved and happy. And hanggang ngayon, si Tito Boy is one of the people talaga whom I, I look up to. Kasi ang galing niya magbigay ng advice. Mm -hmm. At alam ko, kahit anong mangyari, kaibigan pa rin si Tito Boy. It's over and, and beyond the network wars. Of course. So, hindi naman ganun si Tito Boy. Yes. Okay, I love, love you, Tito, Tito Boy. Boy. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay? Yeah. May pasasalamatan tayo. Yes, uh, we, we also magazine. like to thank, yes, Extra Magazine. Maraming okay. salamat, Extra, for uh, okay. no, being part of our show. Ang akala siguro natin, kompleto na ang selebrasyon mo. Ang akala ng manonood, ito na yon. Pero alam niyo pa, mga kapatid, meron pa pong pasabog kaming ibibigay ngayong hapong ito, kaugnayan ng karawan ni Rufa Gutierrez. Panorin po natin ito. If there's one person who has staunchly supported Rufa throughout the years, ito ay walang iba kung hindi ang kanyang beloved mom, the feisty Annabel Rama. Siyempre, galit ako pag tinitira si Rupa kasi sino bang kakampi ng anak ko? Di ako, di ba? It's no wonder then that when Christy Furman's controversial revelation that Rufa and John Lloyd Cruz were allegedly sighted biking at the fort together became widespread gossip and even prompted rumors of Rufa being a liar and a third party to the John Lloyd and Shaina relationship, Annabel Rama chose to defend her one and only daughter. Yung nagbabike sila sa the fort, alam ko, totoo yun. Kung... Nagsinungaling man sa, sa isang stasyon na nito totoo, titingin ako sa kamera, dong, totoo, nagbabike kayong dalawa ni Rufa sa The Fort. Kinoconfirm ko yan. Ako pang bumili kay Rufa ng rubber shoes, no? Bumili pa si Rufa ng bike. O ano pang, para saan yung bike display sa bahay? Para saan yung rubber shoes display sa bahay? Ganun tagal mga lalaki minsan, nagsisinungaling, hindi sinasabi ng totoo. As to John Lloyd's denial that the lines of communication between him and Rufa are still open, Annabelle has this to say. Nagtatawagan pa yung dalawang yan, kaya ako malungkot. Nagtatawagan pa rin sila, alam kong in love sa isang babae. Hindi ko alam ng papel niya, ba't kailangan pa niya ang tatawag-tawagan si Rupa. Nagtitext pa sila ng dalawa. Kung si Mami Annabel lang ang masusunod, sino nga ba ang karapat dapat na lalaki for Rufa? Actually, mabait naman yung lalaki, pero gusto ko sa'yo, Rufa, yung lalaki makuha mo, matured, may trabaho, at kaya kang buhayin, pati mga anak mo kaya ang paaralin. Alam kong masipag ang magtrabaho para sa mga anak mo, pero iba yung mayroon kang kapartner sa buhay mo na nagtutulungan kayong dalawa. Nakakalawa kita, Anabel. Alam mo, Rufa, nakakuha ko ng kakampi sa mami mo. 